Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the copy command to copy an object from an S3 bucket to your EC2 instance. So to start, make sure you have an S3 bucket with your files in it. I will browse to my S3 service, select my bucket, and you can see I have a file in it, and I also have a folder with file in it. So we are going to transfer this file from S3 to EC2 instance. To transfer the files from S3 to your EC2 instance, the first thing we need is an IAM role. And the IAM role allows your EC2 instance to be able to communicate with S3. So it gives your EC2 instance permission to download files from S3 or upload files to S3. Let's click on service. And under security, identity and compliance, select IAM. We are going to select roles, create role. And it is going to be an AWS service role. So we select that. The service that is going to use it is EC2. Then we'll click next to permission. Under permission, Let's search for S3 full access. Check, select the S3 full access and come to next to add a tag. I'm not going to add any tag. Click next to review. And for my role name, I'll give it S3 full access. And make sure the policy the S3 for access is showing on that policies and I'm going to leave the description as it is and click create role. So that is the first thing we need to do. Create a S3 for access role. The next thing we need to do is let's create a key pair. A key pair is what we use to lock our EC2 instance. Then we can also use this the same key pair to access our EC2 instance and to run the command on it. So we'll come to service and on that compute select EC2 and let's come down to key pairs and select create key pair and let's give it a name and I'm going to call it EC2 And to call it EC2 key pair. You can call it any name. I want a PPK file because I will be using PuTTY to SSH into my EC2 instance. So when I select create key pair, it is going to create the key pair and download it to my downloads folder. And you can see the file here. So if I click and um, show in folder, you can see the key pair there. Okay, good. So the next thing we need to do is create security groups. And we just want to make sure that the necessary ports are open for our, IC, for our IC2 instance. So we'll come to security groups on the left side, create security group. And I'm going to call it an EC2 security group. And I'll use the same thing for the description. And to add rule, the first rule we are going to add is an SSH rule. And for SSH, for best practice, it is best to always connect SSH into your EC2 instance from your IP address. So you don't want to leave it to the world. So you don't want to leave this to .000-0. You want it to be from your IP address. But for this example, I'll just leave it, leave it to the world. And I'm going to add another rule. And that is going to be on HTTP port 80. And that is also going to be from anywhere. And 
You can also add an HTTPS if you want. So let's add it. Port 443 and anywhere. And once we've added our rule, click create security group. So we've created our security group with all these ports open. So now we can launch our EC2 instance. So we'll come to service, EC2, select EC2, launch instance. I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI and general purpose is fine. So on this page, on the configuration page, we want to, everything stays the same. The VPC, the subnet, that stays the same. The only thing we want to change here is make sure you add your role that you create to your EC2 instance. So we'll add the S3 full access role and we'll click next. Again, click next, click next. And on the security group, we can select an existing security group and we will select the EC2 security group we create. You can see the ports we left open are here. And we'll click review and launch. And we'll launch our EC2 instance. And for the key pair, again, we'll select the key pair we created, which is the EC2 key pair and launch. Our EC2 instance is launching and once that is fully up, what we are going to do is SSH into it and we'll browse to the directory we want where then in that directory we will run this command. So let's give it a second. Now our EC2 instance is running. Once your EC2 instance is up and running, copy this public IP address. I'm just going to copy it. And next, open party. So I'll open party. So you should have this. On the SSH, click the drop down. Select the auth. Browse. And we want to select our key pair. And click open. And I always like to in increase my font and make a um, bold and italics and click OK. And now we're going to come up to session and we're going to type EC2 hyphen EC2 hyphen user at the public IP address for IC2 instance, which is this one that we copied and click open and yes. So now we are in our EC2 instance. So now that we have SSH into our EC2 instance, we can first update all the patches um, but before we do that, let's change to uh, root user. So you can type in sudo su, click enter. So that has changed to root user. Then we can update our IC2 instance if there's any patches. So we'll click yum update minus y. And there are no updates for this one that I just installed. So we, I am in this directory right now and if I type ls you can see that there is no file in that directory so ls all ls does is it lists the files in the directory so now what we want to do is we want to copy the files from our s3 bucket to this directory so to do that we have to run this command this command allows you to copy one object, which is just one file. So I'll click this command. I'll just copy it for now. 
and let me open a notepad i'm going to open a notepad and paste that command in there so pretty much what this command is saying is um we'll run the aws s3 copy s3 then my bucket so i'll just go back to s3 I'll click on my bucket. So this is my bucket. So I'll just highlight over that, copy it, and I would paste that here. Paste. And the folder. So if you are copying a file, for example, I have a folder here. If I am copying a file in that folder, then I would copy that folder's name. So let's do the folder one. Then we will do the one without the folder. So this has a folder. So I'll copy that folder and I'll paste the folder here. And the file that I want to copy is this file, which is in the folder. So you have to include the file and the extension. So I'll paste that there. And again, we'll paste the same file name here. So we have our bucket, the folder, and the file in the folder, and we paste the same file name here. So I have my command. I'm going to select everything, copy, and I'm going to go back to my SSH, and I'll paste it in there, and click Enter. And now when I type in ls, you can see that that file is in the directory. So we've successfully copied the file from S3 to our EC2 instance. So let's copy the other file that is not in the folder. Let's go back to our bucket. We have this file that is not in the folder. Again, I copy this command. Let me drop down, I'll paste it here. Now come to my S3, um, the bucket, I'll copy the bucket name, paste it here. Since we don't have a folder, what we would do is we would just delete that part. So now the only thing that's left is the file, the file name and its extension. I click on that, copy that. And I'm going to paste it over here. Paste. And I'm also going to paste it here too. Paste. So that's the command we need copy everything and come to my SSH, paste it in there and enter. So now when I type in LS, you can see the AWS node text file and the SOLIDWORKS JPEG is in, the, in that directory on the EC2 instance. That is how you copy a file from S3 to your EC2 instance. Remember, you need to make sure that a role is attached to your EC2 instance. You need to configure your security groups to at least have um, SS SSH access and port 80 open or port 443 if you are using HTTPS. Then you also need a key pair. Then once you have all those attached to your EC2 instance, SSH and you can transfer the file using the copy command. Thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.